Good evening, ECC family and friends. My name is Sister Alicia Hoppe, and I am grateful to be able to share with you one of my favorite poems called Teach the Children. I just finished the household chores for the night and was preparing to go to bed when I heard a noise in front of the house. I opened the door to the front room and to my surprise, Santa himself stepped out from behind the Christmas tree. He placed his finger over his mouth so that I would not cry out. What are you doing? I started to ask. The words choked up in my throat, and I saw that he had tears in his eyes. His usual jolly manner was gone. Gone was the eager, boisterous character we all know. He then answered me with a simple statement. Teach the children. Now I was puzzled. What did he mean? And he guessed my question, and with one quick movement, he pulled a miniature toy bag from behind the tree. And as I stood puzzled, Santa said, teach children, teach them the old meaning of Christmas, the meaning that nowadays Christmas has forgotten. Santa then reached in his bag, and he pulled out a Christmas tree. And he placed it in front of the fireplace. Teach the children that the pure green color of the stately Christmas tree remains green all year round, representing the everlasting hope of mankind. All the needles point heavenward, making it a symbol of man's thoughts turning towards heaven. He then again reached into his bag and he pulled out a star. Teach the children that the star was the heavenly sign of promises long ago. God promised the Savior for the world, and the star was the sign of the fulfillment of his promise. He then reached into his bag, and he pulled out a candle. Teach the children that the candle symbolizes that Christ is the light of the world. And when we see this great light, we are reminded of Jesus who fills our lives with light. Once again, he reached in his bag and he removed a wreath and placed it on the tree. Teach the children that the wreath symbolizes the real nature of love. Real love never ceases like God's love, which has no beginning and no end. He then pulled out an ornament of himself. Teach the children that I, Santa Claus, symbolize the generosity and kindness we feel during the month of December. He reached in again and pulled out a holly leaf. Teach the children that the holly leaf plant represents immortality. It represents the crown of thorns worn by our Savior. The red holly represents the blood shed by him. Next, <laughs> he pulled out of his bag a gift. Teach the children that God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. And we thank God for the very special gift. But I also need you to teach the children that the wise men bowed down before the baby Jesus and they gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We should always give gifts in the same spirit of the wise men. Teach them that wise men still seek him today. Santa then pulled from his bag a candy cane. Teach the children that the candy cane represents the shepherd's crook. The crook of the staff helps to bring back lost sheep to the flock. He reached in his bag again, and this time he pulled out an angel. Teach the children that it was the angels that announced the glorious news of the Savior's birth.
the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Suddenly, I heard a soft tinkling sound, and from his bag, he pulled out a bell. Teach the children that as the lost sheep are found by the sound of the bell, it should ring out to guide us to God. The bell symbolizes guidance and return. It reminds us that we are all precious in the eyes of God. Santa looked back and he was pleased. And I saw once again that twinkle in his eyes as he said, Remember, teach the children the true meaning of Christmas and do not put me in the center for I am but a humble servant of the one that is and I bow down to worship him, our Lord and our God. I want to wish each of you a Merry Christmas and a beautiful coming new year. Eight maids of milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are made. Five, oh, 